All right, everybody, we're doing a tabletop today. I'm gonna share with you how I junk journal and because I just started this one, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity because once I start writing in it, no one will ever see it again. So I thought this would be the great opportunity so you can see how I do it. I use a traveler's notebook. I have a Maverick and I also have a, a Waypoint that I like to use for this. The reason why I like to use a Maverick is because when you junk journal, you're filling it full of stuff and it will eventually get like, like that. Get, they call it alligator mouth, but it will, it will get big like that. And with the elastic, it's easy to close. And so what I do when this is all full and it's like, like that is I will take the inserts out of my traveler's notebook and then I bind them into a chipboard cover that is custom made that I make uh, to fit it perfectly so that it's not got a big old gator mouth. So um, this works really well for me and I do use an A5 and then I use it, like I said in my A5 video, I use it from beginning to end as if it's one book. That is how I use it. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I have going on here. This, so I'm just gonna briefly tell you that this is just a layout that I'm testing for pockets. I don't even wanna show them to you because it's just in the test process. I designed these pockets way back in January and I am testing them out. So please don't look at them and think that you can order them yet because I haven't even decided if that's going to be a thing yet. But what I'm using them for, because um, in my other uh, TNs, I really don't use the pockets. But what I'm using these pockets for is just daily ephemera that I collect that is my daily life. And I have a little bit of washi here. I also have um, a card here that has washi on it. And I also have, hang on. I do have to adjust how deep that pocket is. I have one of these, it's a brass plate. The plastic is still on it because I don't want to take the, take it off. But I use this for ripping my washi and it works really well. So, you know, like in here I have like some thank you cards that customers have sent me and it's really beautiful and I want to put that in my junk journal. And so I just shove all that stuff in to the pockets and then when I want to journal, it's there and ready for me. In the back here, I have um, some photos that I have, I'm gonna put in, this is me and my husband, um, that Britta took for me. I love this picture. So I have some photos that I'm gonna put in and I'll put those in later. Um, I have some family, my, my brother and my sister. Love those guys. So those will go in my junk journal later. I just put them in here for now and they kind of live there and I just love the A5 size for this specifically. So the very first page, because I don't work in my junk journal, I don't work in it in, in like numerical order I guess. I just literally open it up, I find a page to work on and that's where I work. And so I numbered all the pages with my automatic numbering machine. Love that thing. You guys got to get one. Life changing. <laughs> Life changing. Um, so I numbered all of these. And uh, this is how many pages are in the book. There's 116. And when I do a completed page, I will stamp the date that I completed it there. So that is how I will find something that I'm looking for is because I dated it and I'm, I'm over here waving my hands around and you guys can't even see it but whatever <laughs> good job Jen I collect paper I always have um, probably always will and all the papers that are in here are things that I've collected and this is coffee dyed paper and I did an acid test on it and it, it, it came out neutral after I was done. So I'm not worried about it disintegrating over time or anything. I love coffee dyed tape paper. I think it's beautiful. And I love the look of vintage things. So um, works for me. And so this, this piece of paper actually came from a Fabriano notebook that I got from Michael's 
They're normally $5 and this was on sale for $1.99 and I got it and I absolutely love the paper. It's wonderful paper, paper to write on. Uh, if you guys have those in your area, I highly recommend you get them. But here are the crinkle. Love the crinkle. But another reason to like coffee dyed paper. And then um, this is from a book uh, that I got at like a secondhand store. And I just ripped the pages out. And this has like the front. It was like a gift book to from occasion and date. And I don't know. I just kind of thought that was fun. And <clears throat> more coffee dyed paper. This is an actual page from a book. This is a die cut that I had and I thought was pretty. So I just attached it in there. And so all of these are book pages. Um, this is from an atlas. And it has a little pocket in there that I can put stuff in. And another book has pretty duckled edges. Can you see it? Yeah. I love those edges. So I did cut this down to fit the A5 size. And I just have all these little fold outs, some poetry. I tried to pick colors that I know I like. This is more my speed with the pinks and everything but I thought the purples and the reds were nice too but yeah I just go through and I make uh, signatures out of paper like this is vintage music paper that I got for 10 cents at a secondhand store and it uh, yeah it's, it's nice I, I really like it so more from that book I love this artwork. It's beautiful artwork. It, this is a um, Love for All Seasons Hallmark book, and it has a bunch of poetry in it and a bunch of watercolor and romantic stuff like that. And I'm a romantic at heart, so I like that. Um, this is actual junk. It is a Capital One envelope, but it's got my favorite color on it, so I made a pocket out of it. And I just covered up the capital one here. So when I slip a photo in it or something, it'll show in the window and you won't even know that it's capital one. This is Strathmore paper that I coffee dyed. This is a card from Allie Brown. And I just stuck it in here. And this is scrapbook paper. I didn't print on this side because I didn't know that my printer would print borderless printing, but now that I do, I will never stick another white piece of paper in my book. But more of that. So this is like the kind of about me page. And um, I put it on page 42 because I'm 42 years old when I made this page. And um, I put just, I wrote just a little bit on there and then I put a little tab that says 42 and then over here on this page it's just a book page that I stamped and embossed and rubbed some colors on so another book page so that's basically all this is really it's very simple so the reason why I like to junk journal is because it breaks the the white page or the blank page and since there's stuff already on it then it's not a big deal to make a mistake or you know I just don't get like writer's block or anything this is my my cousin's daughter and that was something that happened I ended up um I ended up in kind of a crisis I would say uh, by going to a graduation party and there was an accident and I was in the middle of it. It was very embarrassing, but I will say that everyone worked really hard and got me out of it and everyone was super nice. And I'm not gonna tell the story here because I just don't want to, but Aunt Janet, I love you. And um, I know you watched my videos and you were there. And um, this is actually my Aunt Janet's granddaughter. So that's who she is, but anyway. So another, another pretty picture. I love watercolors. This is from that see, Love for All Seasons book by Hallmark. And this is the actual pages. So I'm not, these are not copies of pages. These are the actual pages. A map, looks like we got Texas on there. I love maps, so I add them in there. This is a glassine envelope that I just kind of tipped in. 
and more coffee dyed paper, more music sheets, and I literally folded them so that they kind of fold out. And the other side of that map. One of the poems from that Love for All Seasons Hallmark book. I love the penmanship in here. This is actually handwritten. Um, I don't remember the guy who wrote it, but it's, I believe it's a man who, whose writing that is. His penmanship is superb. And yeah, that's my jam right there. Those colors, yes. I don't really like yellow, so I will probably color, cover that one up. But anyway, um, this is from a book that I thought was just super silly. i <laughs> not really crazy about it, but it's called Rain Makes Applesauce. If you know that book and you love that book, I apologize. But um, I liked kind of the artwork, but it was just kind of a silly book. So, and this just ended up this way where it says Rain Makes and then it's got a couple with an umbrella over here. That just kind of happened. <laughs> So I thought that was kind of funny. A birthday card, and I kind of just stuck that in there. And when, okay, when I was 13, I had a dress that looked almost exactly like this. And I wore it, and I just thought it was the bee's knees. I love that dress. And uh, yeah, so, and I'm, I'm blonde, but I, my hair never looked that nice when I was 13. Lord, no. But... <laughs> Anyway, and this is, um, it's a fake glassine envelope that I made out of painter's paper. And inside is, uh, this is my grandmother's list of all of the quilts that she made for um, us kids. And this is a sample of her handwriting. So those are all the quilts that she had made and everything. So I just stuck that in here and I will journal about that at a later date. But I really love glassine because you can see through it and I stamped on it before I turned it into the transparent glassine paper. And if you want to know how to do this, there's a video on YouTube. Her name is Nick the Booksmith and she is how I learned how to, to make this kind of paper. But this is going to be a page about my grandmother because, and it'll start over here because it's page 88 and she was 88 years old when she passed away. So I reserved this page for her. Never mind, it says 108 up here, it's 88. This is more from that book, Rain Makes Applesauce. And again, more music, sheet music. And this is another piece of scrapbook paper, the more Fra Fabriano paper, craft paper, and you know so the other sides of all of those so each one of these inserts is about um, anywhere from five to seven pages and there there are four of them and they are on the elastic here and so what I do when I'm not sure what I want to write is I go through here and I will search for stuff. So I really like these two colors together. I love navy blue and pink. So I would be like, okay, well, where's a page that these would look good on? And I will come through here and I will find a page that kind of, that they look good on. And then I will put them there. And I'll just empty out all my pockets of all this stuff. You know, like here's a thank you card that's from an employee. So how pretty does that look on the coffee paper? That looks very pretty. So I might put that there, you know, and then I might journal a little bit about her and how we met because I've known her longer than Sheiksboro has existed and um, super appreciate her. That's Alaska, you all know Alaska. She wrote me a little thank you note. This one's from a customer. I would try to find a page that this looks good on. Maybe it looks good here, I don't know. Maybe it looks good there. I could stick that there for sure. And then, you know, so I would just go through, I have a lot of thank you notes. So this is uh, from another customer and I keep them because I feel like it took them time to write it and I wanna honor them by keeping it. And also, um, a gratitude's like really big in my life, so. Just keeping, I don't know, I just keep them. 
best. No explanation. Actually, I kind of like that there. So that's all I do. And then I just empty all of these out. And I think that's really pretty. But literally when I'm when I'm working on my junk journal, I do this with all the with all the junk. I go through here and I do this. And then I will come back later and rearrange it maybe. Um, if I feel like it needs to be rearranged. Songbirds with the sheet music. Mm -hmm. A little on the nose, but that works. Uh, and then I'll go in and I will journal about it. That card is so pretty. And you see the gold. Shimmer, shimmer. So pretty. So, and it's my favorite colors. That'll work for now. But that's literally all I do. I just go through and I find places to tuck things and then I will come through later and journal. And usually I journal, like let me show you. Um, so you can unfold this sheet of paper and read it. I'm not gonna unfold it though. <laughs> that's kind of how I do my journaling and then I stick that in there. So that's how I do that. So I'll probably do something like that on there because I like it on those pages. So that's it, that's all I do. And um, it gets so thick and fat. Uh, if you wanna see like an actual journaling thing where I do actual journaling, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will show you like a full pa finished page. I just find places to, to tuck things and then I'll go back in and decorate it more and journal about whatever it was you know like this thank you might be this might be a gratitude page where I'm just talking about things that I'm super grateful for and uh, and that's that and then you know it'll have this card from Alaska in here and uh, yeah so for me it's very satisfying it's very relaxing and I enjoy it very much. I have this A5 uh, Maverick here. I love it, I think it's beautiful. I wish that it had a square spine, but well, we can't always have what we want, can't we? So that is how I do it. I love junk journaling. I've done it for years and years and I will continue to do it for years and years. It's very satisfying. I love to recycle things. I love um, designing things for it. I love working in it. It inspires me. And when it's done to me, it's very personal and beautiful in the end. Anyway, if you've liked this video, please let me know in the comments below or, or give a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. It doesn't always have to be about leather here on Chic Sparrow, but you know, if that's all you guys want to see, then that's fine. I'll be happy to show that to you as well. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend if, if you're watching this when it comes out, which is on a Friday. And if not, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.